Hey, um, where you playing at? I think we need to layer it a little bit more, like, maybe in, like, more darker tones. What you think? I can do dark, but, uh, let me handle this one. Oh, 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 oh excuse me. Oh, hold on a second. We're rolling? Come on, bro. We were, we were rolling. My bad. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is my man right here, J. So, yo, yo. music producer extraordinaire. Just you know, politely putting me in my place. It's all good. But you know what it is? It's Zeus Cruz of Olympian Multimedia, giving you another segment of Get Things Done. This particular segment, this is by special request to discuss a little bit more about the music production, specifically audio interfaces. And we just kind of touched on it a little bit in the past, but we're going a little bit in depth by just talking about two different interfaces that I utilize within the studio um, that can in turn help you in your music production. Um, so let's check them out. The one that we got in my hand right now is made by Native Instrument. And it's complete audio too. They do have bigger versions of this with more inputs, as you see in the front. This particular one only has two inputs. But you can also set up parameters with tuners to increase the gain. You can also set it for line or for the instrument if you're tending to or planning on playing a live instrument and you can do that for each input whether line or instrument it has the 48 volt phantom power included which is so important it has the output here so that you can plug up headphones you can control the old overall gain to your production. Up here, you have the knob to control the overall volume of your music production. It does have a frequency meter on here to kind of highlight if your decibels are a little bit too high that maybe you need to bring them down. It is powered by USB. And then you also have two more outputs in the back. I love this one, particularly for doing vocals. As you can see here, we have the condensed mic set up right here. And this plugs up accordingly to this audio interface. It's great for vocals, just to have that clarity and that density within your vocals, have it very crisp and clean when you go to recording um, and it's really easy setup. There's really not much overhead as far as having to tinker too much with it and too much setup with it. It's straightforward, you just plug up, you go ahead and record, but obviously you can plug up different types of MIDI or key regular keyboards or any other live instrument as well that you want to utilize in your music production. Um, also with this as well, we included with this, I believe that you get at least a couple gigs worth of a sound pack included with it with different loop synths, box, uh, vocal samples, other type of audio samples as well. Um, so it's definitely a bargain. Uh, the price range for it is going to roughly give you around about $150. The bigger models are a little bit over 200. They have more outputs and inputs with it as well, and more um, presets attached to it. Uh, but all depending on what you're trying to do and what you're trying to plug up. For this particular setup, studio setup, this works just as fine. The other audio, audio interface that I have, is comes from Presonus, their Studio 24C model. Again, just like the native instrument, it comes in bigger models. Well, obviously more preamps, more presets, more outputs and inputs. 
as you see here very similar it has a meter reading on here to allow you to notice the frequencies and the decibels in your production to make sure that you're not over over or under too much um, you have your overall mixer for your playback and for your inputs you have the 48 volt phantom power you have your main to control the overall production and then you can also adjust the volume to your headsets as well you got two input ports in the front you have two MIDI ports in the back and two additional ports along with your headphones and this also runs as well USB with a USB-C end to it so that's the only difference between this one and utilizing this one this is great for overall production especially if you're using this particular case as you see Jay here on the keyboard um, so that you're able to input the sound onto your door and then go ahead and manipulate the sound and edit it the way you see fit. Uh, this just makes it a whole lot easier as long as you have the trusted cable, which you can go ahead and simply connect. And then you have all the wiring that comes with it as far as the cables are concerned. So hooking up. Your particular or this interface again it's easy to use and even though it's made by pre you can utilize this with almost any door that you're using as well so you don't have to be feel like you're limited to using just pre a pre sonus door so that's pretty much it I just wanted to give you a quick outline of what we use here at Ala Studios. These are two different types of audio interfaces. There's a dozen more out there. You just have to do your due diligence to find what works best for you in your studio setup. So, that's about it. So, uh, thanks for tuning in. You know who it is. Zoops Cruz of Olympia Multimedia. And, uh... The only thing left to say is, is, um, get things done. Check you later. Yo, get things done, man. Come on. Come on.